to lean towards the camera. Hey, girl. <laughs> um, right now, I bleached her nuts using the Clairol bleach and this 30, 40 volume volume developer. Um, we're going to wash it out, shampoo and conditioner, and we're also going to use a sh purple shampoo on this as well. So, it's been sitting, her, her nuts are bleached, and we just about to rinse it on out. Gotta be very careful with this shit, because we don't want her hair to be blonde. So, you know, rinse it out, come on, get in this bowl. Look at that. Yay, look at that. Rinse it out, don't rub it in, just let it fall out. And there's a difference in the cap. Y'all see that? You see that? Get into it. Oh, yes. This is going to be gorgeous, you guys. Once it's all rinsed out, that's when we're going to take our purple shampoo and we're going to shampoo the inside and look at that, ooh, 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 the outside of the wig because we got to get all of that brassiness out. I know you have not gone past it. Y'all just see her face. She's like, what the fuck? Oh, I gotta. Did we do nothing last week? I gotta beat that out. I can't do this on YouTube. No. I didn't do it. But I'm just saying, you know, you can always go back, you know. This is full customization of your clients' way. You want to use hot water when you're doing this. And then we attest to warm and cool water when we shampoo on the edge of the egg. See that? Doesn't now it doesn't look as orange. And it was. See? Y'all learned some new come on my channel. I'm telling y'all, y'all better <laughs> like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Good thing. The shampoo that I like to use on all of my my wigs and weaves is a Tresemme Moisture Rich Shampoo and Conditioner. Don't ask me why, I don't know. It's just something about it which makes the hair moisture rich. Just saying. Hair is straight out of a box and it's being washed and customized. And it's gonna be real cute, y'all. Stay tuned. I'm gonna go ahead and get off camera and continue to wash and condition this wig. And then once I have it ready for my clientele, then we're gonna start recording again and tell you. And we're back. Okay, so now her head is washed and conditioner. Now we have to take care of her natural hair underneath her wig. So what I'm about to do now. Oh, you never know. Um we're gonna blow dry her hair now because the weather has changed <laughs> here in New Orleans, and we need to blow this shit out to y'all. 
I just put a little oil in her hair just for the little heat protectant of the blow dryer because we don't want no heat damage. That is not cute. I'm just telling you, that's not cute. Okay, blow dryer. I gotta work. <laughs> we get the camera girl and the assistant. Hello! <laughs> continue to blow dry her and we'll be back after these now i am starting the ball cap method on her head her hair is braided down and i'm starting the ball cap method and i'm using the black got to be glued um i like this one better than the yellow one simply because it goes on clear and I think it gives it a better hold as far as doing the ball cap method. Um, the only thing about this is the drying line. It takes forever to dry. <laughs> but it's all worth it. Because guess what? I mean, if she take this off, maybe she gonna have her edges. I, I tell you that. That'd be stupid. She gonna have her edges. What? So yeah, so I put the gel all across, make sure it's even all around, and I do spray the blast spray on it. Blast. Yellow can. This shit is bomb. I'm telling y'all. I ain't gonna start y'all wrong. I'm telling you. Ask about it. That's how hard it is. I'm just saying, y'all see, see, you're not now. Y'all know. So, there we go. Yeah. You didn't hear. You didn't sweat. I'm joking. Yay. Get it for y'all. Oh yeah. Next part is the blow drying part, y'all. So after that, we'll be back when she's completely dry. Bye-bye. All right, you guys. We're back, and I am ready, almost ready, to install the wig on her hair. Right now, I'm applying some ghost vine glue onto the cap. And this part, you want to make sure that the glue is even out because it needs to dry clear all the way clear before you apply the wig and that's what i'm doing right now taking my time to get it there on each side and you don't need that much glue to do it so that's what we're doing right now here's the glue And this is how I do it. I just make a little. I'm on the cap, you guys. I'm not on nothing else but the cap. Just like that. And you want to take a, a, in, a straight end of something. I'm using a red tail comb. I usually have like little popsicle sticks or something like that. Are you going to use plastic knives? God damn, look at the bottom place for this. And um and apply an even coat of the glue. So now here down. Now hold you. Pull up. Up. And this is the application of Wig. You want to pull it on and you want to pull. 